garage sale with me. Let's go. Here we go. Hey, Bolo Buddies. Thanks for watching. Seller. All right, let's get started. Okay, Bolo Buddies, I am a night owl. I am not a morning person, and this garage sale started at 8, so I had to get up at 7.15 today. Oh my goodness. Um, so lots of uh, little ceramics and pottery. This is a Fitz and Floyd, and I definitely almost got this they had 15 on it they said they would take 10 same with the little teapot but the teapot had some crazing and the Fitz and Floyd when I opened the lid it had been cracked and repaired so I decided to pass on those items um, this is scrapbooking stuff and they wanted 20 for all of it I probably would have done it if there would have been more stickers, but there weren't a whole lot of stickers. It was mostly paper and stuff like that. I don't know, do the Starbucks uh, tumblers do well? There were a couple of those that I did not get. Um, that was missing something. I do check perfumes. Those were Bath and Body. Maybe I still should have looked it up. Maybe it was a discontinued scent or something. They've got their uh, social distancing sign. Um, that they have not hung up yet. I got there a little before eight. I was that person. Um, there it is. There's the sign. Yes, everybody's wearing masks and um, most of the garage sales here, people are writing um, that you have to follow the Ohio guidelines. So People having garage sales are, you know, trying to protect themselves also. Lots of little knick-knack toys. I did pick up some toys here. Um, I grabbed that koozie because it was free. I need to look into it a little more. I didn't even realize it was in the free box the first time I, I looked in it. And then I heard her tell somebody else that the stuff was free. Um, I did get these silverware from the Brave Show. I could not find exact comps. I did pick up this Word Whammer. And I need to, again, like I say at the end of the video, I have to figure out how many letters I have. There's the hand sanitizer. Uh, this is a nubby, uh, it's like kind of like a chew toy for kids that I picked up. I didn't get that because it was so heavy. It was a puzzle. It was new and sealed. Maybe I should have. I did pick up these... Uh, those little knee pads, I bought those. And I think my camera got turned again, so I apologize. Um, I probably should have bought those because people are using them as face masks. So definitely some cool toys. I got a VTech watch, which I'll show you at the end. I comp it out. Sorry, this section's really um, looks awful, so I apologize. Um... I don't know if I can fix that or not at this point. There was a bunch of Halloween stuff, but somebody got there super early and beat me to it. Those little guys were kind of cool, but I didn't want to mess with shipping them. I did find some of my favorite things to sell, and that is Radco ornaments. I can't remember. I think I show them to you guys. I might not. But um, at the end of the video, I'll show you exactly what I got and what the comps look like. All right, there they are. So this one's like an elephant. And there's two of those. And then there's a little puppy dog. This guy right here. So I definitely scooped those up. All right, this is the next garage sale. This was just a bag of toys. It was $5. I need to go through it, but I'm pretty sure I can make some money. There's like vintage little tykes, um, little figures and people and vehicles, so we'll see. Um, there's this bag of G.I. Joe guys, and they are all dismembered. I mean, horrible condition. 
they wanted $3 for them, but I talked to them and I ended up getting it for $1. So there was some clothes in there and stuff, so I figured I would do okay. I could at least make my dollar back. I didn't mess with those toys. Yeah, this footage seems to be, um, maybe not, like my camera's turned wrong. Or maybe I'm just too close. Seems like when I transfer it over to my iPhone, everything gets closer. But it's so hard to hold your camera back and try to record and not have people notice you're recording. So, I don't know. I gotta figure that out. There's the G.I. Joes. Um, yeah, so the arms, everything seems to be there. They're just broken. And I don't know if I can pop them back on or not. So I got to figure out dates or years and stuff like that to see if they even have any value. If not, they may go back to the thrift store. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I had my camera the other way. Kind of a bummer. So those are magazines. I did not look at those. Maybe I should have. Records, same. Didn't look at them. I don't like messing with records because I don't know how to test them. Lots of books. I don't mess with books very often unless they're goosebumps. I love goosebumps. I know those are a bolo. Um, I don't want to sit and scan books, so I just passed. Uh, the boots were, uh, I think, $50, if I remember correctly. They were priced more than I wanted to pay, but they were super cute. This is the table by where they're sitting, so I'm trying to be discreet as I video. I probably should have got that little box. That probably somebody would have wanted that. Little jewelry box. Little Christmas ornaments. Uh, they were nutcrackers, but they said made in China with a sticker, and they didn't seem old, so I passed. And this was a little bit disappointing. I drove about 30 minutes from my house because they said they were having a community sale and there were three sales. <laughs> so I was a little bit bummed about that. I was hoping to uh, hit some more garage sales, but it all worked out. I ended up being able to go back to the thrift store that I was at the other day and find those items that you guys suggested. And yeah. I'm looking at all the goodies on the table. I only bought the toys at this store, store <laughs> at this garage sale. It's an old sewing machine. I didn't look it up. I hate shipping stuff like that. I know I probably lose out on money because of that, but that's okay for today. I'm going to say it's okay that I didn't buy the sewing machine. I mean, I should have looked it up though, because what if it's like a $500 uh, what do you call it? Shocks, I can't think of what it's called. Sewing machine. <laughs> what if? Somebody will know. Somebody will tell me in the comments. I'm always looking for movies. If they're sealed, I buy them. Um, if they're not sealed, I try not to buy them to sell just because I don't want to have to clean them or wipe off fingerprints. That's all just way too much work for um, not enough profits, in my opinion. I don't know what that is. That's a first alert. I think it's a ladder that you put out if you're, um, if there's a fire. I'm not sure. Okay, so this is the last garage sale I go to. And this sign was kind of cool. And I actually did get something for my husband um, at this sale that was not out. I asked and they had something and they brought it out. And I, it's something my husband collects. So I went ahead and bought it for him. So these are the Thai, I forget what they call the big eyed ones, Beanie Boos. I think, 
And I wanted them all because Beanie Boos do decent. They're the TY uh, brand, which I normally don't recommend getting, but the Beanie Boos have decent comps. But they wanted a dollar each, and I just can't pay a dollar each for plush. Um, that are, I mean, some of them are like two inches, three inches tall. So, you know, I probably would have paid five dollars for all of them just because. I don't know the value. I just know that I've done decent with like some of the McDonald's ones and stuff. So kind of cool. There were some little soup uh, mugs that had recipes on them. I almost bought them, but I'm like, eh, you know, I could probably sell four of them for $25, but then I have to mess with shipping them. And I just decided to pass. They were a dollar each also. Oh, I got some cookie cutters. Yeah, right there, that, it's William and Sonoma, I think is how you say it, it's a cookie cutter set, so I paid a dollar for it, I don't know um, exactly what they sell for, but I figure it'll be a bread and butter item, and might do decent, so yeah, it's kind of cool, and this was kind of cute, I probably should have got it, it was a little owl mug, Nothing super branded like a great brand, but it's an owl. Everybody wants to drink out of an owl mug. There's the chicken soup recipe. Let's see. I don't know where I went. I don't know where I'm going. Oh, I'm looking in the Tupperware. <laughs> I know some of that vintage Tupperware can do decent also, but I didn't look at it. Okay, so at the end of the video, I'm going to talk to you guys about some of the things that I picked up at the garage sale today. Some of the items you saw, and some of them you did not. So, let me know what you think. Let me know what I passed on that I should have bought. I'm sure you guys will have plenty of things to be like, you should have got this, you should have got that. It's kind of fun to read those comments because I'm like, oh, I thought I maybe should have. So we'll see. We shall see. I have more of the, um, what was I going to say? I lost my train of thought. Sorry. I saw something in the video. It made me think of something and then I forgot. Oh, there was a McCall pottery piece here, but they wanted $4 for it. It was kind of cool, but um, these were kind of cool too. They're jointed bears. I probably should have got them. There's another one that's all lace that's really, really neat. That's not it. <laughs> I think these were... Mm, I can't remember. But yeah, that lace one was kind of cool. I probably should have got it. But I didn't. I should have, but I didn't. It's my new saying. Goodness me. Those look like little jello molds that are maybe vintage. J-E-L-L-O. I don't know what that says. Oh, uh, no. I don't know. Pretty cool. All that stuff I got. Okay, let's look at some of the comps for the garage sale items I got today. This is the little Ariel and the Prince, and they're called um, Clip Clop Horses. And I don't have whatever this piece is, but I do have um, two pieces of like the road or whatever so um this sold for $14.96 plus shipping and i paid a dollar at a garage sale today for those as you saw earlier okay so these little guys were in the free box and they are so stinking cute um they're from the brave movie and they're the triplets and they're these three little triplets and they fit in the back of the bears let me see if there's a picture of it but these were in the free box and yeah so see their backs open up and they go into the back 
super, super cute. Sold for $26. See, you can see them in there. They're hiding. So, um, really cute. The next item I got was this Leapfrog, um, oh, what's it called? Word Whammer. And this one sold for $59.99 with free shipping. I haven't looked at mine yet to see how many letters I have. Um, and I don't think mine has that additional piece. So I'm going to do a little more research, but these are definitely a bolo, um, depending on how many letters and all of that, the prices do range. But I learned about this one from YouTube channel Dad Planet, so be sure to go check him out. I saw it today and I'm like, oh my gosh, I know about that one. I was super excited. And I paid $3 for this. And those were free. Okay, the next item was uh, this Captain America Blast and Go, and I have it, it's new in the box. Looks like one sold for $19.99 plus shipping, and let's see, $14.99 free shipping. So, kind of weird, they're very uh, different in their pricing. So, I'll probably figure something out in the middle, and definitely a great Mercari item. I love putting toys on Mercari. And I paid a dollar for that, I do believe. If not, um, we'll probably see in the video what I paid, but I'm thinking it was a dollar. This little guy, I think, was a dollar also. And kind of weird. One of them sold for $19.70 with free shipping, and one sold for best offer of four, uh, so less than $4. So, yeah, I'm definitely not going to price it at $4. So I will probably be on the higher end. All right, I got this hat for 25 cents. It looks like this one here sold for $15.99 plus shipping. So not too bad for a 25 cent investment. All right, the Radco ornaments. This is the dog. Mine has the tag attached, which so do those, or that top one does. So they took a best offer on a, they had it listed at $29.95 and took a best offer. So this one sold for $28, free shipping. And that one, they should not have auctioned it. So with Radco, I definitely um, will put a buy it now or best offer on them. So I've got this little dog. I paid $5 for it. I love selling Radco ornaments. Here's the other Radco I got. It's an elephant and mine's a little bit different but this one sold for $49.99 with free shipping I got two of these um, they did write like uh, the date and initials on it so that's probably gonna hurt the value so I probably won't be able to ask as much but um, my total for everything was like $29 and because I bundled I got them down to 25 so I'm just gonna take um, the money off the five dollars difference off of the off of those so i only paid two dollars and fifty cents each i feel much better about that <laughs> the next item is this watch and they're going anywhere from 40 to 45 so uh, kind of a mix I, I need to do a little more research but i just wanted to give you guys an idea i paid five dollars for that this little thing came in the free box and it's definitely, you know, just a bread and butter item, but it's a little backpack. It's by Blah Blah. And uh, yeah, I'll probably put uh, Buy It Now or Best Offer and put that on Poshmark and Mercari. Okay, that's going into my thrift haul, which you guys will see later, which was crazy. So these are my garage sale items that I found today. Be sure to check out the description of the video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.